So we've ended up at the 100 Acre Wood, and this had me remember a way that we were taught to memorize some of the mental health disorders at medical school. And that's partially because all of the characters in the 100 Acre Wood, Winnie the Pooh's friends, have potential diagnoses. Christopher Robin, who's imagining all of these characters, was the first one and suggested to have schizophrenia, hence the hallucinations that you see. Let's see what else was a disorder in the 100 Acre Woods. Given that Eeyore's house was called the gloomy place, it perhaps isn't a massive stretch of the imagination to think that Eeyore, certainly affected with low mood, might have had depression. Owl, perhaps my favourite character in this particular scenario, I think has been unfairly labelled as a narcissist. I don't think he was that bad, maybe a bit condescending, but I think a narcissist is a bit much. Rabbit was considered to have OCD, what with his need for everything to be organised. I don't think it comes as a surprise to anybody that Piglet could be assumed to have an anxiety disorder given his constant worrying and well, anxiety about the situations throughout the books. Our titular character, Winnie the Pooh, may have had ADHD or given his very documented love of honey, perhaps an eating disorder. So the sandy place where Rue plays. Now, to my mind, this is where the medical school idea breaks down a little bit because Kanga is supposed to have a social anxiety given how protective she is of Rue just being a good mother. Conversely, Rue is argued to have autism because of the lack of danger that they exhibit in the series, throwing themselves into things, and similarly, very much wanting to be in their mother's pouch all the while. As I say, it's not a perfect teaching framework, but it's better than nothing. Obviously, our final member of the Winnie the Pooh's group will be Tigger, who quite clearly has ADHD. And that wraps up our walk around of the 100 Acre Wood, looking at the potential psychiatry label that could be applied to the characters there. Now, it's very important to make sure we're very, very clear this is simply a technique for attaching the information we have on our heads to some visible caricatures when we're at medical school. This is not a formal diagnosis, anything like that, and some of those caricatures could potentially be harmful. My argument, when we're learning at medical school, we need to have some framework to start from so that we can refine it. And I think this is a relatively reasonable one. Take care, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheerio.